Peter Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. <sighs> Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, how our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. But we'll give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right, uh, right. Because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Ah, uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. 
We're locked in, but she's not. So? She's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good! She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit... The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. He's a space llama. One who apparently doesn't even like my voice. Uh. <laughs> 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 You can't make me sing no more! I don't care how flark- Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked! We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the Scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. I hope it ain't raining this time. Why would Drax bring us back to Seknarf 9? Why would he bring us anywhere? Besides, it rains on most planets. And I hate- You hate rain, we know. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flarkin' lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, this stuff is gross! Ah, uh, uh, kidding me? Ah, uh, wet fur is the worst! <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> Fuck it. You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet, and I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guy, 
place. This is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. From... That's even worse. Are you good? You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for what... <laughs> Found Drax! Where is she? Where is the Majak? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend her lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. You'll <clears throat> find me. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on, the creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad, but no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in!
Uh, what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Yeah. Watch out! Double floor! Look! How did he sense that one in time? Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Not yet. jump here. We'll need to look around. Find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora. Let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Yo, geniuses! Think about it, don't look at 30. Knock it loose and we got our bread. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy. And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? Stumpy? This Keep us busy, crew! Maybe it's stowed away on the Milano! Please! If something was on my ship, I'd know! Cut to pieces! <laughs> okay, I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. Uh, 
Nebula wasn't your fault, Gamora. You know that, right? What's she talking about? Nothing. Groot says we should check things out over here. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. There's something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. The priests never talked much about these caves. Ooh, spooky. What the floor? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? Maybe they're just really excited to see us! Oh no! Never! Something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cape. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. Are you the rock face we're looking for? Not sure if I wanted to answer or not. Whatever gets us out of here. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> Ugh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. There's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I see something, but it's foggy. 
Hey, group, buddy. Think you could lift this? No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shut. I spy with my little eye. Screaming he's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that can save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends. Willing to die for another friend? Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. Finally, the face of a thousand lies! I think... Can help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Toddy mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. I'm Groot. Of course I'm angry. I'm wet. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Clark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no. Not do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you're about to do. Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? 
Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Rude, can you tell him to stop? 50 or 50 not. Look it. Look it! Feels like I see this a lot. You want to know the plan? Yep. One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Saying that. Are you smart boy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always. Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill. And that's how it's done. Eh, the exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, Little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! Oh. I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> Sure, we 
could be dealing with those churchified noble weirdos, too. Ah, that would be worse. Oh, come on! Right. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours. It's how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow. Heads up, more than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make a man squirrel. Oh, 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 about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something heroic? Um, guys. I know, Little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even throw down here? No. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! 
just a plant plant, not a you. So we ain't got much choice. That's one big beanstalk. Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, will we get another shot? You're the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. Zero percent interested. Right, I'm on it. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. He's already got. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably going to encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he is... Bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Thanks, John Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. Team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. 
this cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. The what now? I thought we just did the wet part. <laughs> 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 Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. How long do we gotta wander around smashing our chins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Fucking visor! It ain't a flashlight, Will. Remember back in the dark in the quarantine zone? I thought that was some funky energy thing. Funky energy in the dark. Groot's bioluminescence ain't exactly on the defined light spectrum. Oh boy, this place is so creepy. Remember the deal, Quill. You find anything shiny, we split it. Anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to... I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. It's the sound of wet eyeballs hitting the ground. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknar. I can hear their spiky things shooting out. Out 
now, I guess. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QZ. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Tatari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I hate to say it, I mean, I really hate to say it, but it does sound like those squishy eyeball things. something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Ugh. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Just like that! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to take that and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. Key is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what, what 
only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Will. Why did anyone stop you? Such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? 
very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matrix life getting bolder in Green Minnie's mind! Hear that, Quill? The kid's getting stronger! Oh, yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. No. You know what we're looking for? Something sad and salty, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna beat us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catavian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um... We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What? Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt. How the? You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. <laughs> <laughs> 